You would use this, this module at any time in a weightable stream where you want to capture the existing fish populations within a stream. Um, we have found that uh, regardless of the study design, uh, this technique will work. Um, depending on the species of interest, you may choose to have more or less numbers of sites within a stream. But by replicating this module m many times, you would be able to capture an overall fish distribution, a fish community within an entire catchment. So it can be applied in any survey where there's an interest in capturing the uh, species diversity or abundance of fish within a system. The electrofishing module evolved through some techniques that have been, actually been used for many years, many decades now, uh, for conducting electrofishing surveys in the streams. The Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources did some work in the early 90s to uh, document that there was a very strong relationship between three pass population estimates for salmonids and single pass surveys provided that they were conducted at relatively intensive levels of electrofishing. And from that work, uh, single pass electrofishing became somewhat of a standard, although this module is actually designed to capture any type of effort. So in areas where we know that single pass surveys can be applied reliably, we can recommend using that where there are unknown catchability rates for fish, we strongly recommend three pass surveys still be conducted. However, the techniques that we use and that we describe are simply replicated whether or not it is a single pass or a multiple pass survey. This module has been designed to be comprehensive so that the technique can be applied anywhere, anytime, provided that the site boundaries are the same. And if we do this, we should be able to compare survey results from anywhere in the province. When conducting electrofishing surveys, uh, my only recommendation is that you make sure that you have obtained the appropriate permits um, for using this technique and that you inform any uh, individuals and landowners that you will be using this technique within their property and that the electrofishing policy is followed. We recommend that all habitats within a site are sampled um, so that you have a reasonable probability of capturing any species that might be present within a site. Even if effort is low, all habitats should be sampled. And that if you don't sample all the habitats, you make sure to identify that on your field form so that that data isn't used inappropriately. One of the uh, things that's really important within the electrofishing survey is that the fish identification is done accurately. And we are encouraging people to take fish identification courses and that they become certified to at least a level one um, and that all fish that they can't identify 100% be preserved or photographed so that later identification can be made. Uh, there's nothing worse than having wrong identifications made of species that are not even found in catchments.